<laughs> What's up? Welcome. Uh, so, dang, something happened to me the other day and I'm gonna uh, take my car in and see what they say. Turn right onto San Pablo Avenue. You heard him. I was coming out of Berkeley Bowl and I was backing out and it was a situation where I was backing out, someone else was backing out and um, I looked behind me and I was like, oh, there's another car coming. And so I stopped and I looked at them and I was like, wow, they keep coming. And I'm like, oh my God, and I honk on my horn. <laughs> uh, and they rammed into me, so. And then the next thing that I'm up to is, oh my goodness. So I have an unlimited phone data plan with a good amount of hotspot because I was really utilizing that when I was traveling around in my car to edit videos and upload videos without having to do all my work in a cafe or somewhere that has Wi-Fi connection. And it worked out really great for me, but I've been paying for that this whole time and I'm just not using it. And then the one day when I was like, oh, I'm gonna set up my hotspot, I need it because my internet wasn't working and I was trying to upload a video at that moment when the internet wasn't working and I was like, oh, I'm gonna set up my hotspot. It didn't work, <laughs> it couldn't set up. It, like there was just, it wasn't registering. So I'm like, wow, not only if I'm, am I paying for this for the like rare instance that I might use it, <laughs> I'm also paying for it, it doesn't even work. So I'm headed over to AT&T right now to cancel the hotspot plan as well as I've gotten a few texts from AT&T saying that I'm eligible for trading in and getting a free iPhone 14. Now, I don't know if I'll actually be able to get a free iPhone because they're freaking sneaky. They send you these things that tell you these things, but then it turns out to be something different. So I'm just gonna go talk to them. And if that is a possibility, then that would be dope. about a free iPhone 14 upgrade. So I'm just curious about that. Okay, so basically nothing has changed. <laughs> I like having my unlimited plan with the hotspot even though I don't use it because the data is always as fast as it can go. Um, whereas for me, I use a lot of data and it's worth it. But I did find out that my bill is actually 10 bucks less than I'm paying, so because uh, basically I just have it auto pay connected to an account so I will switch that and then as far as the phone goes I could upgrade my phone basically by turning my phone in um, and paying $200 for the iPhone 14 and you can't just pay it up front. It's really weird. Like they take it out of your account every month, um, a certain percentage. And he said, like, let's say if I lose my phone, if I have the new iPhone 14 and something happens to it, that then it's just null and void if I didn't go through the full payment of the phone. So that's kind of weird. You know, then it's just null and void and I give him my phone and I don't know, I don't really like that. And I don't really need a new phone. The only reason I would do it would be for the camera. Do you guys have any thoughts on that? Any tech people out there? Is the iPhone camera on the 11 so much worse than the iPhone camera on the 14? Would my videos be much better quality with the 14? Uh, it's really for video production that I even I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's how you back out. <laughs> you gotta look. Gotta look. That's what I said from the guy who backed into my car when I was walking away. I said his name and then I was like, don't forget to look behind you. So it's kind of hard to imagine, but we're already in spring. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Time goes by, it just goes by. I've almost been living in my spot for a year. I guess we have February, March, April, May, uh, end of May. So basically June 1st, my lease is up, or May 31st, I guess my lease is up. But I'm just going on a walk right now. After this, I have my appointment for my car and it's a, Magnificent spring day. Look at it, wow. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking this opportunity to go on a walk. Mmm, and I think they just cut the grass. Ooh, I'm transported. So I'm reminded of Salamanca, New York right now for some reason. Um, one of our family members used to cut grass and stuff. And my dad worked with him sometimes. Maybe that's why. Look you guys, wild turkeys. They're so amazing looking. Their feathers are like this iridescent, just incredibleness. Their heads are like from another dimension. They're just crazy looking. Turkeys. Wow. So I just came upon all of these other wild turkeys and I'm super fascinated because these guys look different. Their heads are different. And I'm wondering, were the other ones male and these ones female? Because to me they even seem quite a bit smaller. So is that something that turkeys do? They split off between the males and females? There's actually one bigger looking one back there and that one's head is slightly more like the other ones. So maybe this is the male of the flock and the other ones are gone? Maybe he like, you know, was the big dude and fought off the other ones? I'm not sure though because to be honest, he doesn't look like as badass as the other one, so I don't really know, but. Oh my gosh! There's other ones across the way, and those, those are the men. Those are more males. They're different. Oh my God, let's go look at them if they don't run away. These guys are bigger, and they've got the other dimensional heads. So he assessed it. I'm just waiting in my car. He's gonna ride it up and tell me how much. But he basically said it's purely cosmetic. The bumper's like plastic basically, so it's not gonna rust or anything. So, and it's really not very noticeable. So it's unfortunately really expensive. Everything is expensive on a beetle. The labor. I feel bad. I almost feel like just saying it's all good. This is the damaged area. If you can see what looks like little scratches or cracks, they're actually cracks, not scratches. Here I'm showing you a bit closer. 
but that's what happened when he backed into my car it was like this crunch 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 sound and that's the worst of it all right it's time to eat i have some greens and beans that i have soaked overnight and i drained them this morning they're not sprouted but they are soaked so uh, the nutrients are more bioavailable and we're reducing the phytic acid and enzyme inhibitors so that our body can absorb the nutrients and um I think I'm gonna cook those, I'm really excited. It's actually a combination that I haven't had before. I've been really enjoying mixing one part grain to one part bean or legume. And this mixture today is millet and split peas, yellow split peas. I'm also gonna have some roasted beets. I'm just cutting them up. I'm gonna roast them in my air fryer toaster oven. I love eating roasted vegetables. And I know my parchment paper looks a little freaking janky. I just like reusing it, why not? It works well and it's my kitchen, okay? I can do what I want. <laughs> Uh, I'm just adding in some Himalayan pink salt and fresh ground black pepper. It's actually already cooked. I'm adding it after it's been cooked. And here I am roasting my organic raw activated peanuts. I just roast them in my air fryer for three minutes and they come out fresh and perfect and amazing. And now I'm just assembling my beautiful plate of nutritional elements as my dad likes to call them. And I am so excited to eat. I meant to actually stir the lemon in, but then I realized I forgot about it. Look, I have this like pool of, sometimes I cook the spices um, in ghee, like in the pan before I add the other stuff. I can dip these in it, um, my little beets, and it's super good. Who knew? A ghee dipped in beet. Let's try the split pea millet mixture. Heaven, <laughs> to me this is so good. I find that having a pressure cooker makes eating healthy super easy or like way easier because if you're cooking for yourself, it's like you don't always wanna, for me, like I just want it simple and easy and healthy and delicious and in my pressure cooker, I can make this really quick, whereas if I was using a regular pot, this would take a really long time, way longer, especially for like beans and stuff, as well as soaking or sprouting really reduces the cooking time as well. So to make it easier for yourself if you're wanting to eat healthy and quicker and easy and not make it a big production. And one thing I just wanna like, I was reflecting when I was cooking, one of the best things about for me not doing mukbang videos is that i get to eat how i want to eat and i get to eat it the way that i want to eat it like for me um mindful eating is just so ridiculously beneficial uh the way that you eat actually has an effect on your whole system and you're responding to your food <coughs> differently you're absorbing the nutrients differently the food is literally behaving in your body differently depending how you're eating it so like if you're doing mukbang videos and it's a production and you're not really focused on the food because you like have an audience and you're talking that's affecting how the food is functioning in the body and i just am so glad that I'm honoring myself and doing what I want to do. It feels amazing. Thank you, Star. Thank you. So I'm just here at the spot to watch the sunrise and it might be a really magnificent one because there are a lot of clouds. Sometimes when there are a lot of clouds, it makes it really, really special. But we'll have to see when it happens. But so far, this is what I'm looking at. So I'm seeing potential for a spectacular sunset, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I wanted to give you an update since you guys are knowing what's going on with this journey with uh, my car. 
I talked to the guy who backed into my car and I gave him the forms of the assessment and he was just like, this is freaking crazy, this is ridiculous. It's really expensive, guys. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush for a really minor thing. Um, he was like, you know, if it was a hit and run, you might not even know, it's so little. And I was like, I totally agree, it is really minor. But the thing is, is that it is there, I do know, and you know, it'd be nice to get it fixed because I love this car and it'd be nice for it to be fixed. So he is going to find a place and get, um, and I'll go in and get some, another opinion and hopefully get it cheaper because I would like it to be much cheaper because. Thanks so much for watching and for tuning in and I'll see you next time.